I will rule the world! <laughs> well, it's time we sent you our experimental nugget this week, Joe. Now, human underarm perspiration is something that happens to everyone after they go through puberty, which I assume includes you, Joe. <laughs> When's the last time you saw a dog sweat? Larry? Never. Exactly. And why is that? Dogs don't sweat. That's exactly. why? Exactly. Because of the dog's pineal gland, nature's own canine antiperspirant. Now, you take the pineal gland and you make a serum. You get a dog, it doesn't matter what kind of dog, and you inject that serum into a human subject. In this case, Larry. Now, let's see, it's so hard to find a spot I haven't hit. Uh, what's this flower, and who's Roseanne? Oh, just stick it, will you? Ceylon Silverbird. Now, Jeez. instantly, the serum races through the bloodstream like a Porsche Targa 911, commandeering each pore, slamming it shut like the vault at your favorite savings and loan. And, checking the wetness sensors, we see that they are free from wetness and or odor. Antidote. Oh, yes, the antidote. antidote. There you go. The antidote. And here is your treat. This is our invention for this week. It's called the Chuck Man. Yes, we're entering this in the Mad Scientist competition this year. Oh, we have other choices, but this is the one we're going with. This is very strong. All right, okay, you're throwing a party, it's 3 a.m., and none of the guests are leaving. That's when you bring out the Chuck Man. Yes, as every self-respecting scientist knows, the sound of human fingernails on a chalkboard is most annoying. It initiates the primal fear response in all mammals, much like a chimpanzee scurrying across the plains of the Serengeti in fear. Simply put your chalk man on the platen. Now, this is a real chalkboard. And side B. Side B, excellent. And just, you'll notice the tone arm has real human fingernails embedded in the hand. Now, place it on the platen. Well, open it. They'll stay. Close it. They leave. Open it. They'll stay. Close it. They'll leave. Open it. Stay. And so on and so on and so on. As you know, toy manufacturers are always making their toys too safe. And what children want is realism. And danger. That's why we created the acetylene-powered Thunder Lizard. Yes, it's a role-playing game, and it comes complete with these costume glasses. Just set up your field of play, then reach out and torch someone. Wow, that's really sick and twisted. Thank, Thank you. you. Larry and I have developed a new chain of fast food restaurants with very low overhead because we don't cook our food. Because frying and broiling takes out a lot of the nutrients. Yes, uh, if your body likes another body, why don't you try one of our burgers on naturel? It's uh, ripped from the bone to your plate in seconds. It's Clay and Larry's flesh bond. <laughs> uh, make with the lyrics, okay. Larry. If you're tired of the same old fare, you got a friend in Clay and Lair. All our meat is guaranteed rare because we don't cook it. You see, cooking takes out all the flavor. If you're tired of cooking at home, try our meat right off the bone. If you listen, you can hear it moan because we don't cook it. Stunned, killed, right at your table, eviscerated, very fresh. Now there's no need for you to drive through. Our fresh meat will walk out to you. You'll say hi, you'll say moo. It's Clay and Lair's Flesh Barn. 15 locations to serve you now in Altoona. As you know, the old squirting joke flower has lost its ability to shock or surprise. Oh, we souped it up, though. We came up with a burning boutonniere featuring the flame flower. <laughs> I'd like to see anyone who isn't surprised by that, Jolene. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe you guys. That is so hateful. Thank you. Okay, say you want to emulate Reed Richard from the Fantastic Four and you need a longer arm to read something or change the channel, just use our limb lengthener here. Yes, just select the appropriate limb. Uh, in this case, Larry's volunteered his arm. Uh, comfy? Yeah. Yes, all right, and just stretch away. Ow!
Oh, it doesn't hurt that much, you know, whining on the TV. Well, I have a feeling you're probably violating somebody's basic human rights, namely uh, Dr. Earhart's. Thank you. This time we've got a real winner for you, something that'll sure to please all of your frat buddies. It's a little something we like to call the mechanically inflating whoopee cushion. As we all know, the whoopee cushion has been a long-standing favorite among pranksters around the world. Yes. <laughs> this one's got a little twist, though. It's a self-inflating model, and it's filled with real methane gas. Get the picture? Larry? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, what do you think? I'm shocked. It's really sophomoric. Thank, Thank you. you. We've been dealing with genetic mutations since you were in short pants. And we finally applied our principles to carnival food. We came up with cotton candy that screams when you bite it. May I? Enjoy. Ow! That's my head! Ow! Well, what do you think of that, Jolarini? Huh? You're toying with God's blueprint, that's what I think. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, our invention this week combines the arty effect of the old Etch-A-Sketch with the educational payoff of Uncle Milty's Ant Farm. We call it the Insect-A-Sketch. Larry? What we've done is we've taken the normal directional capabilities of the ant and scrambled them with an ultrasonic directional device, a little guidance system of our own. See? I wrote my name. <laughs> yes, and like its predecessor, it clears with a shake. Very nice, Larry. Now make me a picture of Jokey Smurf. Okay. I'd love to. Well, what do you think? Oh, uh, I, I think it could really bruise a child's tender psyche. Thank you. As you know, face masks throughout history left the bank robber, or thug, completely expressionless. Well, we've taken care of that. Larry? We've invented the stocking mask of the future with articulated eyebrows. <laughs> yes, no longer will a desperate criminal go misunderstood. The SM of F takes care of that completely. Uh, the demo, Larry. All right, put $10,000 in the bag. Unmarked bill right now. Hey, ladies. Oh, oh, it works. Cool. All right, see, you touch that alarm button, I'm going to have to rip off your fingers, and you're going to have to reattach at the nearest hospital with laser surgery. It's really cool. They do that. Larry. Put... I'm sorry. Hey, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that I use six bullets or only five. See all the excitement? I don't know myself. <laughs> I saw it in a movie. It's really good. Clinton. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, here's our new development, an entirely new concept in oral hygiene. Yes, we've employed some of Hollywood's top stars to help us with our new mouth-to-mouth -mouth celebrity toothpaste. Feel the cleaning power of the star's internal juices as they go to work on plaque and tartar buildup in your mouth. Here's Jack Nicholson from Witches of Eastwick. <laughs> Mr. Creosote from Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. Somebody get a bucket I'm gonna throw out. And Linda Blair with real head-cranking action. Your mother flosses in hell. Well, what do you think, Joe mm -hmm. uh, Well, I think four out of five dentists are going to recommend psychotherapy for you two. Thank you. Now, Larry and I have discovered that children adore putting things in their mouth, and they love puppets. We've combined the two, put a little spin on it. We call it Tongue Puppets. The show, Larry. Hey. Hey, everybody, it's me, Mr. Skanky. Oh, I love everybody here. Rock and roll, Jerry Hart, and Rock and Clayton Foster. <laughs> Bye. I think you might win the award for the most unsanitary toy. Well, thank you. Thank you. Very That's much. really nice. Yeah. Well, well done. Congratulations. Absolutely. It's about nice. time. Well, Joel, this invention is based on the old slinky train toy I had as a kid. It allows me to be in two places at once, connected by the special bio tube. Well, it's, it's much too complicated. It would take a scientist to explain it, and I'm simply too mad. Now, earlier today, Joel, I removed my own head and fused it to the bell of this baritone sax. When Frank blows into the mouthpiece, I wail. That's right. Uh, I press the valve down here. The music goes round and round, whoa, and it comes out here. Yes, I call this little invention Dr. Sax. Uh, now I'd like to play for you some of my favorite John Coltrane charts. Hit it, Frank. An evil supreme, an evil supreme, an evil supreme. Well, what do you think? <coughs> you may have just crossed that line. I've never seen anything 
so hideous, so immoral, so atonal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I've got to clean out a spit valve. Thank you, Frank. Well, this summer's fashions cry out with jubilant two-inch armor plating, saucy turrets, and shells aplenty. You can really clear the beaches this summer with our new tank tops. That's right. The best beach party ever was the one at Normandy. Beach blanket bingo is now beach blanket bombing with the latest in fashion artillery. That's right. Shelling on the beach takes on a whole new meaning. Let's get in position, Frank. Ready, aim, fire. Now, let's see how we've done. Hey, wait a minute. I can hear the war. Oh, knock that off. Oh, now look, look at here. At look, there's still a little red. I'm sorry, I can't give you the bear. You know, if you're like me, when I think of the 70s, I think of one thing. Foosball! So what we've done is we've taken the whole foosball concept and uh, we've caulked this, added water, and we've turned it into water polo. Woo! That's right. Yeah. It'll provide hours of aquatic terror. Get that, Frank? With shark attacks, I'm boat going accidents. to kill you. Just like the kind of terror you're going to see die, in this film die, this week, Joe. Die, 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 Phantom creep die, from Bella Lugosi. Die. And then I after that, now, our main feature is uh, called Rocket Attack USA. It's the feel-good film of the Cold War era. A triumph of the human spirit. But now I'm going to kill you. I have you now. Die, die, die. I just I've scored got on you, you Pauline Kale. To, ah. Endure the film, Joel. I will kill you. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Don't look at me! Don't ever look at me! And don't drool this time. Well, hello, Booby. This week's Invention Exchange is an exciting foray into the field of self-surgery, much in keeping with the theme of today's film. All you need is a willing subject, a can of nitrous oxide, and an oversized version of the game Operation. Operation, the goofy game for dopey doctors. Remove wrenched ankle. No! No! Why? Why? Thank you. And it's all in the name of science, you know, but if you touch the sides... No! Thank you. Well, you get the idea, don't you? Don't you? Oh, hello, Joel Arini Weenie. Is that funny, Frank? Have we used that one before? Ah, uh, no. Well, Joel, it's time for the invention exchange. You may wonder why we're dressed this way. I wonder. Shut up. We're dressed this way because I've lost my train of thought, and don't you ever interrupt me when I'm on a roll again. We're dressed, we're dressed this, way this way because, because of, of the... the... Anyway, Joel, as you know, children have long looked up to cowboys as role models, and vice versa. That's where we get the hobby horse from. But today, kids are looking for more sophisticated role models. Uh, what's that thing, Frank? Cuckoo kids looking for cuckoo kicks. Uh, 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 yeah, anyway. So what we've done, and since today's movie is kind of a biker movie, what we've done is we've taken the whole hobby horse concept, we've pared it down a bit, shot some paint on it, and what we have here is the, the hobby hog. Woo! That's right. It's for kids who want to get into concert security. But we haven't forgot the child. The saddlebags are filled with Zweibach and the tank's filled with Bosco. Kick it down, Mama Gemma. 